Hello again, uh, this is uh, chapter 3 and we are now going to have a quick look at method calling. So in BlueJ method calling, um, or in Java and other programming languages, method calling is a, a massive part um, of the languages. Um, in BlueJ um, we've already called a number of methods, when you had your circles and your uh, shapes you were calling methods um, by right clicking on the objects and similarly um, uh, in other objects and other classes you right clicked on the object and been able to call a method. Um, it's quite simple, so what we do is we create a, a number display um, object in this case and then we can right click and then we can call a method so there's nothing new here that's that's what you've done in the past uh, the other way you can do it is um, the object itself can call its its own um, method um, so you do this by writing it in code um, in the class itself so um, a specific method or a constructor could call another method um, within its um, within the object to have things uh, have things done so an analogy um, might be you know uh, in a car, um, you might have one method of uh, pressing the accelerator, um, and then another uh, method uh, might be to actually um, uh, allow the car to go forward. Uh, so we use these internal methods all the time. Um, and then the other type of method um, call is an external method call. So what you can do is you can call um, an object, um, uh, another object which you've created, um, you can then call them the uh, method of that object. Um, so that's called an external method call. So that's calling methods from other objects, and we're going to go through those now. Um, so in terms of looking at our internal method calls, it looks something like this. Um, the method, uh, this is in the um, clock display class now, if, uh, if you want to have a look at that in, um, later. Um, but there's an update display method in the clock display class now. We can right click on a clock display object and um, simply uh, run the method that way, or we can um, call it using the this keyword. So you say this dot update display, and you can put that in any method or any constructor or in any constructor in the clock display class, and that will call that method. Um, the uh, you can um, on internal method you can use it without the this keyword, but I'd probably get into the habit of using the this keyword um, because it just sort of keeps everything nicely uh, nicely clear. So this. Uh, the this keyword is then used by an object to refer to itself, and we're going to use this again in the future. Um, but it's the object effectively referring to itself and calling in the calls on its own. Okay, so those are internal method calls. Um, external method calls. We previously looked at um, object creation, um, so we created a, a number uh, display object um, in in our clock display, and we looked at how to do that. Um, and we created um, a number display type called minutes. Um, once you've created that number display type called minutes, then you can call the methods within the object um, of um, of the minutes um, or of the number display class. So if we have a look in the number display class, you'll see that there is a method called increment. Um, and if you can remember, that's effectively the tick method. So what we do here is we say the methods object or the, min the minutes object dot increment means um, tick the minutes object along by one. Now that is called from the clock display object, so that's called from a different class and different object, um, so that becomes an external method call. Um, what we will need to do, so that's an example method, the, uh, the syntax looks like this, object dot method name, and then the parameter. The increment method doesn't take any parameters, and you can see that when you do a right on the number display um, object, there it doesn't take any parameters, so the parameter list is not required in this particular instance. Um, here's a quick um, uh, exercise for you. The, uh, t the time tick method is taken from the clock display class, um, and in the time tick method, there are a number of different method calls. See if you can um, highlight which ones are an external method call and which ones are an internal method call. Um, on the external method call, um, I want you to consider what uh, object um, type the method call comes from and what is the variable name for the specific object as well. So have a go at that and we'll do that in a second. Pause the video. Okay, so hopefully you would have had a look at um, uh, what, what you think the answer is here. So let's, let's have a, a look at this. So here's our um, method here. Um, the method um, time tick, that's the method um, which is 
within the clock display class. Um, within that, there's, um, there's a number of different method calls in this particular method. Um, we've got external method call here. Uh, we've got an external method call on this line, uh, an external method call on this line, and then we've got an internal method call on this line. So the um, internal method call doesn't have the this um, keyword, so we can, if we want, put in this there and the dot. And um, from a program perspective, that means exactly the same thing. Um, often we just use without the this, but um, you can use with this if you like. Um, the minutes dot increment. Uh, so it's the type which is used is number display. Space. Uh, I'm not sure if that's still on your screen. I'll try to squeeze it in if you can't see it. That's a number display type, um, which is the the minutes is a number display type, um, and the uh, the name of the object is minutes. Um, similarly, on this line here. It's a number display type which is being called. Um, minutes is the name of the object, um, and dot get value is the name of the method. Um, there's another external method call here, um, and the name of the object is the hours object this time. Um, and again, it's called. It's an external method call to the um, to the um, increment method in the uh, number display class. So again, that's a number display type. Um, the update display method. So these are all number display classes, and this one here is of type clock display because that's an internal method call in the clock display class. Okay, so um, when we do our internal method call to update display, um, we're actually calling this particular method. Um, that method also does some more external method calls, so um, have a look see if you can spot those. Um, the external method calls here are the hours.getDisplayValue and the minutes.getDisplayValue. Uh, these here represent the, um, uh, the hours object and the minutes object, so we're call calling for two different objects. Um, and what we're doing here um, is we're creating um, the display string which takes the, the two different displays from the two different objects uh, the hours dot minutes or the hours object and the minutes object and they're creating our final um, display um, so that's uh, an example of an internal method call um, just a quick note um, a method call on, an, on another object of the same type is still an external call so internal is within the code that you're writing on, on that particular class that's an internal code I mean internal call that means this object an external means any other object regardless of its type so if you've created an object even if it's the same object type within that object um, then any method call is still an external method call uh, finally, for this section, the null is a special value. The null keyword is a special value used in Java. Um, often, objects are initialized to null by default. Um, however, you can specialize when you do create objects that so they're they're created with other values. But um, when you actually create the objects in itself, then it's it becomes a null um, object, a null value. Um, you can test for null. So you can use if you have a look at the number display. Um, uh, if you have a look at the hours um, uh, class, or sorry, I'll start again. If you have a look at the clock display class and you look at the um, the fields which are created, um, if you want to see if the the hours object of type number display is null, then you can do if hours is not equal to null, then do something, and that's that's how we can see if if it is or it isn't equal to null. So we can test if it's been actually created. Okay, uh, that concludes this section. I'll see you next time.